Telescopic denture. Many types of retentive systems are used in removable partial dentures. Also, several types of attachments are used with overdentures. One of those systems that may be used as retainers for partial dentures or as attachments for overdentures is the double crown system or telescopic attachments. The telescopic denture refers to the type of prosthesis that includes double crowns as retainers or attachments. These retainers, or attachments, consist of two crowns, the primary or inner crown which is cemented to the abutment, and the secondary or outer crown which is it to the denture. The double crown system, often known as telescopic attachments, is one of those systems that can be employed as attachments for overdentures or retainers for partial dentures. The term, telescopic denture, refers to the type of prosthesis that includes double crowns as retainers or attachments. These retainers, or attachments, consist of two crowns, the primary or inner crown which is cemented to the abutment and the secondary or outer crown which is attached to the denture. The outer crown may have a simple coping without any anatomic landmarks, or it may have the anatomic contour of the original tooth on its outer surface. The outer crown is fitted onto the inner crown to achieve retention. Inner telescopic crowns. Outer telescopic crowns are attached to the denture base. Telescopic attachment types. 1. Cylindrical crowns. 2. Conical crowns. 3. Resilient designs. 4. Modified designs. 1. Cylindrical crowns. Cylindrical telescopic crown. Prepared abutment. B. Inner crown. C. Outer crown. The parallel-sided inner crowns of this type of telescopic crown represent its original form. The friction that exists between the inner and outer crowns is what causes retention. 2. Conical crowns. Conical telescopic crown, A. Prepared abutment, B. Inner crown, C. Outer crown. It is advised to use a convergence angle of 6 O. A retention force of 5 to 10 N is the result. As per Sheba's statement, the above physiologic movement and crown length can determine the appropriate 4080 angle. To preserve accepted retention, some writers suggested a 2O angle, because it is easier to fabricate and less damaging to abutments and the tissues that support them, the conical design is utilized more frequently than the cylindrical one. The advantage of this design is that it can be used to determine the forces that would be applied to each abutment by choosing the convergence angle based on the clinical circumstances. Nevertheless, the drawback of the conical design is that retention decreases with use. 3. Resilient designs. Since they permit free of freedom in the rotational and vertical movements between the inner and outer crowns, they could be referred to as non-rigid designs. That could be accomplished by making changes to either the outer crown, the inner crown, or both. As a result of these changes, there is less close contact and more space between the inner and rounds. According to those who introduce and advocate these designs, they result in a better distribution of forces, prevent harmful effects, and increase the survival rates of abutments. They also provide a resilient relationship between the abutment and the denture. In situations involving distal extension and with a small nut weak or missing abutments, resilient designs might be helpful. Research indicated that using resilient design in dentures supported by implants was successful. 4. Modified designs. Some systems were created by significantly altering the idea of the double crown. They mostly depend merging of telescopic system with another type of attachment. A. Magnotelescopic crowns. B. O-ring coping attachment. C. Prefabricated telescopic attachments. Advantages of telescoping dentures. 1. Stabilization and good retention. The fitting and wide contact between the surfaces of the inner and outer crowns produces a high retentive force. 2. Secondary splinting action. Accurate relation between the inner and the outer crowns, as they are rigidly connected to the denture base. 3. Transferring occlusal forces through the long axe abutments. Telescopic crowns surround abutments, so the occlusal forces are transmitted to abutments through their long axes. 4. Establishing a common insertion path.
the inner crown's parallelism makes it possible to achieve this even in cases where the abutments are slanted. 5. Hygienic advance. Provides accessibility to the gingival tissues of the abutment allowing effective home care and good oral hygiene. Moreover, the good fitting of the inner crown on the abutment protects it from caries and thermal irritation. 6. Aesthetic advantages. Double crowns provide a more aesthetic easing option for retentive elements than clasps. Using ceramic faces and a thoughtful color scheme can result in good aesthetics. Seven satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. Eight repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantages of telescoping dentures. One increased cost. Two complex laboratory procedures. Three extensive reduction is required. Four increased number of dental appointments. Five. Difficulty in achieving aesthetics. 7. Satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. 8. Repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantages of telescoping dentures. 1. Increased cost. 2. Complex laboratory procedures. 3. Extensive reduction is required. 4. Increased number of dental appointments. 5. Difficulty in achieving aesthetics. 7. Satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. 8. Repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantages of telescoping dentures. 1. Increased cost. 2. Complex laboratory procedures. 3. Extensive reduction is required. 4. Increased number of dental appointments. 5. Difficulty in achieving aesthetics. 7. Satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. 8. Repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantages of telescoping dentures. 1. Increased cost. 2. Complex laboratory procedures. 3. Extensive reduction is required. 4. Increased number of dental appointments. 5. Difficulty in achieving aesthetics. 7. Satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. 8. Repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantages of telescoping dentures. 1. Increased cost. 2. Complex laboratory procedures. 3. Extensive reduction is required. 4. Increased number of dental appointments. 5. Difficulty in achieving aesthetics. 7. Satisfaction of patients. Good patient satisfaction rates with telescopic dentures were reported by numerous authors. 8. Repair and adjustment ability. Easily repaired even when an abutment is lost. Disadvantage.